Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick review on the brand new iPhone 5. Um, I did not do the unboxing because of course they are, you, already, you might have already seen them. So let's start off with what comes in the box. Of course, you got your headphones completely redesigned and your USB charging cable as well. It has been redesigned as well. Now, as far as the USB goes, the charging cable goes, you can plug it in any way. You can plug it in this way or plug it in that way. It doesn't matter. It goes in both ways now. With the old charging cable, it could only be plugged in one way. Which, of course, if you had your kid or somebody that didn't know how to, you know, charge your iPhone and connect it, they would try and force it in. Uh, but that one that is no longer a problem with this brand new USB charging cable, um, and it's actually pretty sturdy. I thought it was gonna be, you know, fragile, but it's very strong. So there will be no problem when it comes down to docking your iPhone onto this small charging thing right here. But now let's. Head on to the headphones. The, head the headphones have been redesigned. To me, they are a little bit uncomfortable. The sound quality is not all that great. Uh, but I guess what makes up for it is this storage. This case for it that comes with it. Now you could actually keep them organized and not just you know wrap them around your phone or whatever. Uh, which is a pretty nice, neat future now, I guess. Now, as far as the new iPhone goes, it is lighter compared to the iPhone 4S. The iPhone 4S is, is heavier. It's actually thinner. And the headphone jack is on the bottom now, which is uh, pretty great now because, you know, usually if you have your phone charging, you got one cable on the bottom and then you would have the headphone jack on the top and it would be uncomfortable when you're in the car, you know, listening to music through the headphone jack and charging at the same time. But now that's no longer a problem. So that so that's nice. Um, the picture quality, it's great. Uh, not only is the screen wider, but it actually looks a lot clearer. Um, Now on LTE speeds, it's actually, it is faster, there is a difference on the speed. You can see how fast they load it up. Hey guys, uh, today. So, it's actually great. Now, as far as the YouTube app, it's no longer here, it's no longer integrated into the iPhone 5. So now there, now you have, you have to download this the YouTube app, which is still not, um, you know, compatible with the five, iPhone five. It does not cover the whole screen, as you can see. So hopefully there will be there will be an update soon for that. Um, Apple Maps looks real nice. It's smooth. Now, yeah, it's pretty great. It's a nice future now, Apple Maps. Um, it also, as soon as you do the update on the iPhone 4 or 4S, you will have Google uh, Apple Maps as well. Now for the camera, it looks great. Probably a little bit better than the iPhone 4S. It comes with a panorama view, with panorama, which if you have used the app Panorama 360, this one you will come to love because it does not cut off like the Panorama 360 did. The volume is better, it's a little bit more louder, more clear. And yeah, I highly recommend it. If you, if you were thinking about getting it, I would say definitely get it.
it is worth it. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.